hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome uh so in today's unboxing i will be doing a little bit late uh the liberty gifford purchase that they recently did i think it was like at the start of may i believe um they had it on for like a week or two um and i did purchase it but uh, i just haven't had a chance to unbox it yet which is killing me because i really want to see what's in all this stuff so um, I do have prices here, so I can take you through the actual gift with purchase and tell you how, how much everything costs. However, the rest of it, I'm a bit hazy, so I'll try and remember as much as possible. So let's crack on because there's a lot to get through. So the offer was, like I said, beginning of May, um, and it was basically you spent £175 um, across Liberty Beauty, and you received a gift with purchase that was worth like 400 and something i will i will put it up in the little description um so yeah i had a couple of things in my wish list luckily uh so i just added those in one item that i consistently get all the time and i'll start with it because it's uh might be the least exciting but for me it's it's a necessity um is this one here which is the space masks um so it's a five pack um and this one was 16 pounds 50 now with this one um basically um i'll get one out of the thing to show you i won't actually open them open them because what happens is when um you actually open the packet there's five individual packets in here um it reacts to the oxygen uh in the air and it creates like a heating effect now um there's so there's five like that and inside there is like a little mask i don't know if this has got a little picture of it on probably not um but yeah it's like a little eye mask that goes over with some elasticated ear bits looks incredibly attractive and um yeah basically the heating effect lasts for about 15 20 minutes um but it just creates this warming sensation around your eyes so it's amazing for things like headaches um it's amazing for relaxing and just chilling out i often fall asleep wake up in the middle of the night with it strewn across me somewhere um but i i find them just yeah really really nice i love being warm at night time um yeah so it's one of my favorites one of my favorites so in addition to that um i also bought so I recently did um, the Harrods um, Beauty Weekend and as part of that I, I went to the um, Hourglass Masterclass that they had where they basically did a, a bridal makeup look using a load of their products. And one of the products that they um, had on there was this, which is the Hourglass Ambient, I'm going to have to read it, Lighting Palette. Um, there are different versions, I don't know if this one says which one this is possibly not yeah so it's either one two or three i can't remember i probably got the second one um i think the first one was quite light this is where i open it is the lightest one um but they look like this very swish classic hourglass kind of um uh packaging very very luxurious looking um just this lighting palette uh so dim light incandescent light radiant light so this might have been the highlighter one rather than the bronzer one but i am quite a pasty gal so um this probably for me is quite dark so as you can see here that's what they look oh gosh look you can just see yourself i'll cover the mirror um so yeah you can see um the different colors there so it kind of like more of a, like an orangey tone over here more of a, a kind of paler and then kind of like a brownie one on the end um let me just see if i can i don't know if it'll swatch very well because they are oh, it's so smooth to touch um i'll give it a go no you can't see anything but i'll, I'll try it anyway but it is incredibly if i do that that's probably easier um if you can see them on my hand oh you can see it a little bit so that's the the first one um and then the last one which is the orangey one I'll put that on there as well if you can see those there so they just create like a really nice sort of shimmer um and it's it's i am not very experimental in terms of like contouring highlighting all that kind of stuff but when they were describing it and, and showing you how to use them i thought I, I can try that I can try that um so you can either use them like individually or you can like swipe your brush across it and create like um more of a general sort of highlight to your face or body or like decolletage all that kind of stuff but I really really liked it um and so I was waiting for a gift of purchase before I actually bought it and like with all other hourglass products I get my fingerprints all over them and then it doesn't look quite as luxurious and swish so yeah that was there and that cost oh does it say no i think it was around 60 60 something pounds maybe um but that will last me for goodness knows how long well past when i'm supposed to use it up by um so yeah really happy with that 
Then the other two things that I got um, were they, so Liberty does like these edit bags that they release every now and again. Um, and they released three edit bags back in kind of April, maybe late March. And I held off buying any um, just because I thought there might be a gift of purchase coming. Um, and so one of them sold out like almost immediately. And so they had two left. So the ones that I got were the breakout one and the sensitive one. So again, uh, all the pro there's about four products inside each one and I'll just do a quick little unboxing so yeah all their, their their kind of edits generally come with these wash bags uh which in themselves kind of like worth between i think like 20 and 40 pounds these are smaller ones so i assume this is more around the 20 pound range so those alone are kind of you know worth something in, in themselves now these were priced i think at 50 pounds each but the contents were worth between like 200 up to like 200 pounds or something like that again i'll put in the details at the bottom i think one of them's still available this this breakout one um but i think the sensitivity one is sold out as well um so like i said there's four items in this one the first one is ren ever calm replenishing gel cream Fuck. i do there we go. Oh, it does work. Okay. Put your hand behind stuff. Um, this is a 50 mil, so a nice big size, full size. Um, and I do not know how much that is worth individually, but I will, again, add it in at the description at the bottom. So yeah, just a nice little pump um, uh, packaging. So I think, uh, probably in my previous videos, I've got some of the Ever Calm stuff. So this is the Clear Calm. So again, it's for breakouts, it's for blemishes. Um, I tend to have them like hormonal blemishes, um, especially around the kind of chin area. So um, I may give that one a go to see what it does, if it helps uh, with that kind of time of the month. Um, so that's the first item in here. The next one is Zelens PHA Plus Resurfacing Essence. Um, I do love a good essence. Um, so this one is the next generation of resurfacing essence formulated with PHA, AHA, BHE and fruit enzymes to gently remove dead uh, skin cells without stripping your skin of moisture. This one step resurfacing treatment helps to refine uh, skin texture and smooth out skin surface while revealing a healthy radiant complexion infused with antioxidants from green shizu uh, leaves uh, to help shield against environmental damage nice that's a nice one to try i love zelen stuff um i know there's i think there's another zelen's one in one of the other bags so we'll see i'm really sorry i missed out the description of this one uh, i think it's because i'm trying to rush so let me see a soothing gel cream formulated to leave blemish and breakout prone skin comfortable and calm while helping to combat the appearance of blemishes so yeah nice um so again this is all about breakouts all about spots so it's kind of to help you keep your your, your oil in check so the next one in this one then is Paula's Choice. I really do want to try this one. Um, and it's the clear range. So obviously they do the different ranges like Calm, Clear, um, and other ones like Anti-Aging, etc. So um, this one is Pore Normalizing Cleanser. Uh, blemish is for blemish prone skin. Uh, Non-irritating, fragrance free, never tested on animals, perfect. Um, and this one dissolves pore clogging oil, makeup and impurities. Um, and it's foaming gel, rinses clean without drying skin. So that's I think sometimes with these products that are obviously for more oily, um, blemish prone, they can be quite drying. So it's always nice when it doesn't dry you and sucks all the moisture off your skin. So that's the third item. And then the last one in here, again, another really great brand is Kate Somerville. Um, and this is the blemish imperfections range is the eradicate blemish treatment there we go um oh directions what does it say this fast acting treatment helps to clear up blemishes and reduce the appearance of redness zinc oxide absorbs excess sebum production whilst sulfur helps prevent future blemishes perfect now, I have seen this one at TK Maxx recently for about £20. So, um, well, I do know that it's obviously expensive um, generally. So, a lot of the cakes in my stuff. Oh, it's pink. Man, that looks a bit like milk of magnesia or something. Um, nice. I wonder how you use it. Hang on. Use, oh, okay, you put it onto like cotton pads. Uh, clean primal amount to clean dry skin infected spots. Do not shake bottle. I was about to do that. Uh, 
because excessive drying of the skin may occur, limit use to one application daily. Okay, nice. So I myself, like I said, I only get real blemishes around like that time of the month. Um, so I don't know whether this is maybe aimed at someone who has like more frequent kind of outbreaks. Um, it'd be really nice. To oh, sorry, I shouldn't shake, shouldn't shake. Um, it'd be really nice to have like a sample of it first. It just says like, do not shake. Um, so I won't shake it. I'll put it back very quickly before I get the urge to. Um, yeah, that might be something I might pass on just because, like I said, I get the occasional like blemish around my chin, um, but nothing regular, thankfully. Um, so I'll see. I'll see whether I'll, I'll look at kind of reviews online and see if it's, it's OK for people without blemishes to use it or whether it does dry you out quite a lot. Cool. And that is everything in the bag. Um, you see, it's quite nice. These bags are so nice. I, I have like quite a few now and I get sad about having to kind of get rid of them, but there's too many. I don't go away that much. Um, there's only so much, so many makeup bags that one person needs. But yeah, really nice, cute size. I love the floral pattern. Um, well worth it. Um, the next one is quite similar, <laughs> um, but it is for the sensitive skin. So this is probably more me. Um, but like I said, there was the, the Paula's Choice in there that I was really excited to try. And also the Zellens one. So, um, but in this one, um, like I said, more tailored also 50 pounds so this one is like similar to the last one but more pink whereas i think the other one's a bit more bluey um again four products so let's kind of speedy through so the first one is part of the ever calm range that i have quite a few of this is the gentle cleansing milk um and it is 150 mils so there we go um a creamy cleansing milk with a multi-action formula that softens soothes and protects against environmental pollution and aggressors nice so again for sensitive skin so anybody can really use it which is what i like um the next one in here is another kate somerville um this is the delicate uh recovery cream um it's oh gosh i cannot read oh stressed skin saver Nice. And this one is a 15 mil. Doesn't necessarily what says what it does, but again, it's, it's probably a deluxe kind of size, this one. Um, you can see that there. Let's just open it up. Oh, okay. It's almost like a balm, kind of like very, yeah. Interesting. No smell. Just another smell. Um, like I said, I'm not quite sure what it is for. Stress Skin Saver recovery cream i will investigate um but i do like the kate some of the range i've got a few of um how it's now and I, I i enjoy using them but most of them are samples the ones that i've got so um yeah again that's a nice size to try before like you invest in a big project a product especially if it works for you um so yeah it'd be nice to give a go sorry i can't tell you what it really does um more research next time more research um so the next one I am familiar with, but I don't have these ones. I have like the middle range. So this is a Dr. Dennis Gross um, Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. And there's three treatments in here. So this is like the deluxe sample size. I think the the normal box that you buy has five, but that you can buy all the way up to like 30. But that's like 90 odd pounds. So this one, again, is a good um, a good little trial. Um, so like I said, they do three different strengths in this. This is like the sensitive one. Then they do like a normal and then they do a mega strength one. Um, so the way it works is uh, you get these, which has two sides. Um, the first side, you kind of undo, rub it all over your face, wait two minutes and then do that. It's kind of like an exfoliation step, basically. So after I've washed my face, I then go in and do this bit. Um, it's quite nice. Um, I, I can't afford to do them daily because, um, like I said, they can get quite, it's like it's £90 for 30 treatments. But they, they say you can do them daily. Um, I tend to do it like once or twice a week just to give my face a little bit of a spruce. Um, and yeah, it's, they're, they're really nice. Like I said, I've not tried the sensitive ones, um, so I don't know if they'll be kind of enough. Um, but it, like I said, it's always nice to find products like this in bags because there, there's enough in there for you to give it a go and see if you like it and if it works for you. Um, and then wait for a really good offer before you buy it. Um, so then the final product in here is um, QMS Medi uh, Medi Cosmetics. Um, this is the Hydrating Boost Tonic Mist um, and it's 200 mils. It's a nice big size. Oh, kind of going to get a little warm there. Um, ton tonifying mist that refreshes and balances can be used on cleansed skin to prep prior to treatments and moisturizers 
or over makeup throughout the day to boost hydration. Oh, nice. So obviously, if you're getting a bit dehydrated, you just square a load of that on your face. Let me see if I can open it so it bottles work. Um, QMS, I know Liberty do a lot of the QMS stuff, and I think there is probably some QMS stuff in the gift of purchase as well, if I my memory serves me. All right, so there you go. Nice, just normal squirty bottle at the top. Um, let's just give it a... Oh, oh, it's... Okay, so I might need to give it a shake. I don't know if you can see that all over my arm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I might give that one a shake before. I can shake that one, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say do not. So uh, maybe I just pat it in. It just smells clean. <laughs> Uh, to describe it other than that but nice um i like a facial mist um especially one that has like um hyaluronic acid in it or something so i'll check out the ingredients on that one um and then add it into the the list of things <laughs> to use um so yeah that's everything that i bought so yeah so these are really really good um like i said i think the break i know yeah Maybe this one, the sensitive skin one, I think is still available on the website. The last, well, at the point of filming this video, it is. Um, so yeah, then this is the gift of purchase. It comes in a nice big bag like this. This is sat outside the bag. So let's get this first. Stay. Okay, so this one's first one. Oh gosh, that's a smell. Ooh. Uh, so this one is a Liberty of London, their own brand kind of candles. Um, and it is Wildflowers. I think they did two versions i can't remember what the other one is uh, what the other one was um but yeah this is the second i'm glad i got this one because i am a kind of floral candle person um i'm not sure what the other one smells like i'm sure it smelled just as nice um but you can definitely get a waft from it um right so oh wow that does that is quite um uh what's the word it's got a smell to it um but in a good way okay so the box is really cool so you have actually got the Liberty of London kind of silhouetted inside the box, which is really nice. And then this is your your candle. There you go. Nice and simple. So in keeping with most people's homes. Oh, that is. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. No minute gone come uh, comes ever back again. Take heed and see ye nothing do in vain. Oldie words. Um uh, this is wildflowers, wild rose, jasmine petals, and cedarwood. Cedarwood? Cedarwood. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but yeah, nice candle, full size. Good start, good start. So, one down, lots to go. So then that was obviously on the outside of the bag, and then this is the bag. So as you see, much bigger than the other ones. Really like this design. Um, and it's got a little pocket at the front as well, so great wash bag to take away open her up Let's see what we got so inside loads of goodies loads of goodies this one in here which i've had a million times lately but it's okay because i'll take another one um this one is the hourglass um extreme lash mascara um and it's in ultra black so there you go oh can you see it nice reflective again um yeah i think this one yeah standard um kind of triangular um I think this retails for around like eight pounds something. You can't buy it in this size. I think the travel size is about 14. So this is the next one down. I can't remember how big it is. Like, oh, there we go. 3.5 grams. So I think the one that you can actually buy is five grams, 5.5, something like that. So the first product, very good one. Um, but I have had it quite a few times. But again, it's nice, um, like little versions you can take away with you. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good, a good mascara. Uh, the next one that we've got is, oh, I think it's we or way or something like that. I think that's how you pronounce it. That one. Um, this is the Curl Creme and it's 30 mils. So this one, um, yeah, it doesn't really tell you what it's for per se. Um, or just help define and smooth frizz. So help define curls and smooth frizz. So this one. Uh, again, uh, there's a little leaflet that comes with it. Um, it tells you all the ingredients on there. So again, worth reading through just in case you've got an allergy to anything. This one is worth just £3.56 in this size. So I, again, most of these I couldn't find to buy um, as like a, a deluxe or, or full size or anything like that. Um, the, the, these ones are just based on the full price. Um, 
value and then obviously the calculated to for this many mils um or grams so yeah nice little something to try i don't necessarily have curly hair per se i know it looks a bit wavy in this but it's because i've had it up all day in a bum um but I, I think with these products it doesn't matter too much like it just helps get rid of my frizz and i do have frizz um so i will try it um and see how it goes yeah nice one to give a go next one ah oh, i do have this one in the larger size um this is the one i was talking about a minute ago so this is the ever ren ever calm uh gel gentle uh, cleansing gel words words um and this is a 50 ml um so a nice trial size if you haven't tried it again it's a sensitive skin so anyone can try it it's just kind of like a gel cleanser um i use it as a second cleanse um at the moment using it in the evenings it's really nice feels clean but it feels hydrated and soft um so it's not drying or anything like that but yeah recommend 100 percent. and they do have quite a lot in this range if you do have like have quite sensitive skin go on focus you know you want to maybe not should do the hand thing is that oh that does work okay uh i keep i keep forgetting and then i'm like oh yeah it does it does okay so uh next product is oh did i tell you how much that was worth probably not so the that one in that size the large one the 150 miles is worth 25 so that size i could probably divide it by five it's probably worth a fiver i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess Oh, it's worth £10. Sorry, my maths did not equate there. Yes, it's £10 for that size. Okay, next one up we've got is Kors, Kores. I never know how to pronounce this one. This is Renewing Body Cleanser. So it seemed like shower gel kind of. Um, and this is a 40 mils. Get rid of my face, basically. My face is the problem. Um, and this uh, is part of their renew and hydrate range and this is sun santorini grape i've got to smell it now okay definitely smells fruity my nose is a bit blocked at the moment yeah it smells pleasant i would say yep yeah, not a problem with that i could definitely smell something grapey slash fruity so a nice one i think i don't think there's anything that i've really smelled where i've gone oh that's a terrible shower gel um in recent years so and most of the time it doesn't leave that much of a scent after i've used it i always find that the body cream is the important bit for me um but it's nice to i suppose it's in when you're actually in the shower that the, the smell of it is is more intoxicating so as long as it smells fairly decent then yeah it doesn't interfere with perfume or anything like that generally uh this one is two pounds 24 um, or five pounds because I could find um, something this size but not in this particular scent um, so I found something in this size for five pounds um, uh, that was Cora's but uh, like I said I couldn't find this scent and if you take the full size and then divide it by the number of mils then it equals two pounds 24 so it depends it depends what you want um, but that's what that one equated to um, so yeah next one Suku uh, this one here um, let's do the price first so this one is worth 14 pounds and this is basically um, a treatment serum primer um, does it tell me what it is this one's made in Japan I remember so basically this particular product came in the beauty drop maybe last year in October um or is the one in January I'm not sure you'll see it from that a few of these products actually came in the beauty drop so it's probably excess but that's fine um because they're still decent products um but I remember when this one came it didn't have this lovely sticker on the back that told you what it was so it was like literally looking at it, I I don't actually know what this is for so I had to google it online so but now it's got it on there it's quite nice um so this is made in Japan and like I said it's a treatment serum primer and it does have, I believe, SPF 15 in it. So I always love an SPF in anything. But yeah, and you can say that that's that's not happening um, in terms of me trying to read that. Um, yeah, so nice product. Um, I have tried it. Um, uh, yeah, decent. I think I mentioned before, I'm not exactly like primer. I don't, I don't use primer every day. Um, but when I do use it, it's quite nice. And this is only 15 mils, so it'll last me a while. Cool. Uh, I did the price, I did the price. Right, next one, QMS. So like I said, there, there are some QMS in here. This is the QMS Medico uh, Medi Cosmetics. And this is the Power Firm Mask, 30 mils. Um, and it does not tell me exactly what, but as it's a mask, um, what I'll just need to find out is whether it's a um, nice pump at the top as well. 
um, is whether it's like a, a leave-on mask that you sleep in or whether it's something you, you put on and rinse off. It looks like the kind that you leave on um, as almost like a, a final step in your skincare. Um, and this one is worth £27. Wow, okay, better be good. Um, talking about the uh, Beauty Drops, this was also in the Beauty Drops um, that we've had recently. So this is the Nourishing Hand Balm by Otto. Otto. Um, and it's got the this whole range has like CBD. Now I've actually tried the night drops in this range and they're really, really good. So I can recommend those to people, but they are quite expensive. So for a tiny little 15 mil pot, I think it's 69 pounds, um, which <laughs> I can't afford to do all the time. So I just try and use them, um, obviously within the time range once you've opened them, but I, I use them sparingly when I really need it. But I've not used the hand balm. I do have it upstairs ready to go. Um, but yeah, this nourishes dry hands uh, day after day, infused with pure Otto, Otto, CBD, aloe vera, sweet almond and holly basil oils to help moisture soften and protect skin. Now, from what I believe, it's not obviously the uh, the CBD, um, the cannabis that's, that's legal. They've taken all that kind of that stuff out and this is just the the benefits of using like cbd um calming all that kind of jazz i'll have to do more research on it but this has got 300 milligrams of cbd in it nice little hand cream no idea how it works yet but i will come back to you and let you know so like i said another beauty drop item and that one is worth um 11 pounds 60 in that size i don't think you can buy that size um so yeah i think that's the more the deluxe travel Lots to get through. Next one, I have used this one. Uh, so this is Kate Somerville Goat Milk uh, Moisturising Cleanser. I love this cleanser. Um, it's going to go that way. And this is um, 50? 50 mil? Let's have a look. 30 mil, 30 mil size. Um, so I've got a full size upstairs ready to use, but I have used one of the testers before this size. Um, yeah, really nice, uh, really smooth um, for very cleansed. Um, all the things you want from a good cleanser, really. Um, and doesn't make my skin react in any way shape or form so um yeah it's a really good one to try um if, especially if you're prone to like flare-ups and stuff uh this one is worth 10 pounds in this size so i can definitely recommend again i think they've got it on tk max at the moment the full size for discount i think it's like 20 quid or something so worth having a look because i know they've just had like a massive load of kate somerville products come through so next item uh, let's do this one. Oh, I got this one recently in Harrods thing. So this is the CEO Afterglow by Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley. Um, this is the Brightening Vitamin C Cream, and I think it's the eight eight grams. It's tiny, a cute pot. Really? Oh, it's because my face is in the way. There we go. Uh, this one is worth nine pounds sixty. Nine pounds sixty in this size. So still expensive for that tiny pot. Um, what I might do is have that and the other pot together so I get more of like a full experience for longer just to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've used the CEO vitamin C, just the, the original vitamin C cream, but not this one yet. So I don't know how this one differs. The writing is way too small for me to interpret anything um that could be valuable um like knowledge wise so but i'm excited to give it a go i do like sunday riley products um but yeah nice little addition that one has not been in the beauty drop that i'm aware of um so next one we've got it's a classic uh so it's august augustinus i don't know i, I think i've been pronouncing it wrong before augustinus beta um and this one is the ultimate soothing cream uh, with TFC8, which is obviously their their painted uh, paint, patented 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 um, ingredient. Uh, so I've not had the ultimate soothing cream. I don't actually know what the ultimate soothing cream is. I've had the cream and I've had the rich cream, um, and I've had like cleansing something or other, and maybe eye cream, lip balm, all that kind of stuff. But I've not seen this one before. Backed by over thirty years of research and innovation, the ultimate soothing cream fuses our exclusive tfc8 a propriety blend of amino acids high grade vitamins and synthesized molecules with oh 
or something, plant compounds to address the root cause of dryness and inflammation. There we go. I probably should have just read the last two words. Helps with dryness and inflammation. Um, and there's seven mils in there, but no doubt this is worth a blooming fortune. Hang on. So this seven mils is worth £31.50. Yes, so I will try it, <laughs> um, obviously, uh, sparingly, and I will let you know whether I think it's worth it. Ah, uh, yeah. Would I ever pay that much for, like, probably, what, 30 mils? Um, no, but again, it's a really nice one to have in a box like this, um, where, like, that's part of the fun for me, is trying things that I would never be able to afford or never be inclined to pay for um, at full price. So, but yeah, I've got a few of the Augustina Spader um, samples, so I'll use them all together again to get the full experience. So that's that one. There's still loads to go. Um, I'll get this one out of the way because we've already covered it in some ways. So this is one of the individual space masks. So obviously I bought the multi-pack. Nice. Um, this one individually is worth space masks uh, £3.30. So if you weren't sure and wanted to try, then obviously having one in a bag like this is good to see whether it's for you. Some people don't like having like their face covered at night and all that kind of, or like, yeah, it's quite claustrophobic. Some of them, well, they're like tight in, but these ones are nice and loose. They just fit around your ears. Um, and I really like them. So but it's worth giving it a go. Right. Next up, while we're on masks, let's do this one. So this is Patchology Fla Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. There we go. So it's obviously um, individual sachet, single use. Um, yeah, put it in the fridge, all that kind of jazz to make it nicer or, or cooling -er to, cooling -er? cooling -er. it's a new word, uh, more cooling to the skin. Um, and it says AM eye gels on this. So I don't know if you're supposed to wear them just in the morning, but to be fair, eye gels any time of day. It just gets rid of obviously any uh, swelling, any um, sort of puffiness that you have. Um, don't know whether this particularly gets rid of like dark circles. Does it say this is the anytime perk me up? So use that whenever you want. Um, doesn't really give much more indication of what it's supposed to do. Um, but yeah just generally put it in the fridge when you're ready take them out stick them on um sit there for like normally like five minutes it says or longer if desired so it won't affect you um negatively if you do um and then once you take them off just rub in the excess serum using ring fingers ring fingers i've always told like put eye creams around with that because it's like the lightest one or something um so I just do what i'm told um and then yeah Hopefully it'll give you a nice little boost, maybe on a night just before a night out, or if you're having a relaxed night, something like that. Always good to have one of those. Cool. And the value of that one is, uh, patchology, patchology. Oh, here we go. Three pounds. So similar kind of value to the um, to the eye mask. So you could have your eye eye gels on, and then before you go to bed, put it on. A nice warming. It helps everything absorb into the skin, etc., etc. So halfway there, I think. So the next one is 111 Skin, a very expensive brand, very expensive brand. I never buy 111 Skin unless it's discounted or in an edit. Have I ever bought 111 Skin individually? Probably not. No, um, so I just get these ones in edits. Just nice to try. Um, so 111 Skin, this one is worth £46. Oh my word. Um, so this is the Microbiome blemish mask um 30 mils so this one is a gentle a gentle exfoliator that simultaneously clears and calms the complexion the clarity mask works to regulate bacteria within our skin's natural biome to facilitate a fortified and balanced barrier uh apply a generous amount into clean skin or Focus on areas of concern following your usual one one skin regime, <laughs> um, of which I don't have any other products. Um, yeah. As prior to launch, uh, so following this global success of our multi-masking concept, one one skin are proud to launch a collection of transformative wet masks. So I assume you put it on wet and then wash it off. Um, our customers who enjoy the immediate radiance and replenishment 
our luxurious sheet masks provide i have had the sheet masks and they are amazing um i did want this one that's going to be in my empties um, but yeah i just find them so luxurious and they're saturated in serum literally you feel a bit sad like throwing the packet away because it's got that much serum in there and you know how much the serums cost um uh yeah so i'd be interested to see what that does because that sounds clarity masks works with regulate the bacteria with uh i might say eradicate before but irregulate bacteria within our skin's natural biome so i'm really keen to try that one um i will do some research like how to optimize it so when to use it day night etc but it's a cool little product i've not heard of that one before so but 46 pounds it better be good i expect it to do all the things it says right next up another zelens product um this one is zelens power e vitamin e concentrate moisturizing and protecting a high potency concentrate formula with a unique mixture of vitamin e uh, four types of tocopherol, uh, Easter's, and tocotrenials. I apologise for butchering. Infused with a propriety complex of botanicals rich in vitamin E, this moisturising and protecting treatment nourishes the skin by replacing lost moisture and provides antioxidant protection to help reduce visible damage caused by free radicals. Use daily morning and evening apply a few drops to the face so yeah that's what we're looking at power e um i don't even even know they've got another name I'm not sure nice classic zelens packaging love it and that one another expensive one i believe is worth 41 pounds for 10 mils wow yeah again that's why i like these ones because i would never buy never buy okay this one is tiny this is a Malin and Goats. Goats. Um, didn't decide how I was going to say this the day. So this is the Malin and Goats uh, eucalyptus deodorant. It is teeny tiny. Um, it is a 5.1 gram. So deluxe trial sample-esque. Um, so yeah, it's kind of shiny. I think you can see that. It's like a balm. Um, yeah, eucalyptus -y. Smells like one of those uh, like vape rubs or something. Um nice nice size so again i've heard good things i am trying to switch to more kind of um planet body friendly um deodorants i really want to try the wild one that everyone raves about um so i think it's in a uh, selfridges edit at the minute so i'm tempted tempted um but yeah this one is it just has directions um but yeah deodorant hopefully makes you less smelly less sweaty um we'll see how it goes but that's the kind of thing that I might buy because I know it's not too expensive by the full size. Um, it is this one. Yeah, £2.37. So I can imagine the full size isn't going to break the bank. Um, so if you do like this kind of stuff, then it is worth um, trying it first and then obviously going from there. Sometimes, like back in the day, when they used to have like the balms and the cream cleansers, it used to feel so sticky and horrible for ages. And you just have to stand there with your arms like that while it dries. So hopefully times have progressed since then um and it's more comfortable to try on cool next one ah now this is another one that appeared in the beauty drop i think this is in my first beauty drop last october so well, my first one i know there was ones before that but yeah i haven't got around to trying it yet so i can't tell you what it what it's like but i do know that votary is a really nice brand i have got one of their face creams that i can't remember how long ago i used it. i think it was month or two and yeah it's really really nice really nice brand this one is worth £10.50 um, um and it's 30 mils and this is the daily apple toner um and let's see if i can find some information reveal younger looking radiant skin that's what they all promise uh with a simple swipe of this toner daily apple toner contains a balanced blend of ahas including malic and lactic acids to gently brighten and smooth skin formulated with milk thistle to soothe and uh, to soothe and glycerin to increase hydration and flow licorice extract helps even out skin tone uh, and probiotic insulin rebalances your skin's microbiome while boosting hydration use daily after cleansing nice so that's the second thing that's mentioned this this microbiome obviously skin barrier i think um so yeah 
good to kind of use in conjunction maybe with the other thing um but again 30 mils actually that will last me like a couple of weeks um so i'm quite happy oh actually i won't open it just now i do have quite a few open um but i can see like a little straw in there so i wonder if it's like a pump or something that would be quite cool um yeah another one nice one to try um and obviously i got the other one so if i don't get on with that one then this one will be regifted. um but it's a toner at the end of the day so hopefully it works in the same way and doesn't make me break out okay we're getting to the bottom we're getting to the bottom okay next one i love these ones and whenever they're in a, an edit i'm always like yay <laughs> uh this is the mz skin anti-pollution illuminating eye mask nice so single use uh three grams um and did I tell you how much that last one was worth? I did not. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Rewind. So the votary is worth. It's always chaotic, isn't it? Um, it's because there's so much to get through. Okay. No, I did tell you. I did tell you. Ten pound fifty. I think. Yeah. I did. I did. Ignore. I just did that bit. Ignore me. Right. So this one, MZ Skin. That's what we're talking about. This one is worth. I think it's like twelve pounds or something crazy. 22 pounds oh maybe i've got that right. that that can't be right surely oh i have to double check if it's not right i'll put a little thing going that's wrong um 22 pounds for a single use eye mask what does it do as it takes like 10 years off right after cleansing and oh, that's how you use it uh this product can be used twice weekly oh, okay so you can't use it all the time it must be potent um can be placed in the refrigerator for a more intense soothing and cooling treatment it does not say what it does um per se um just detoxifying and brightening hydrogel mask so yeah um i'm expecting great things um i never realized how much i think these things were because when you get them in edits you think they're expensive but you don't realize how expensive they actually are so 22 pounds um yeah it better be good but again i do like the mc skin it's a bit like the 111 skin masks they're just really really pleasant to be honest they're selling these at the moment i don't know if it's this one or whether it's the gold ones um in tk maxx at the moment they've got the face masks for 40 pounds where i think the rrp is 90 and these five of these rrp for 70 um and they're selling them for 30 so again, if you like stuff like this, it is worth going onto the TK. My advertising TK Maxx, but it's because I love a bargain and I want other people to get excited about bargains um, and to help out with some people's pink balances because yeah, mine takes a hit normally. I splurge way too much on this stuff. So, but I really do love beauty products um, and I like sharing it with and talking about it with people. So, um, so the next one again, this is another item that appeared in the uh, Liberty Beauty drops recently. And don't mind it at all this is the seated queen cold cream cleanser mask so i think this one you can use in different ways i think i used it as like a cleanser yeah it's a three-in-one cleanser plus mask um so this one is worth 22 pounds you see like that's multiple use single use uh sorry sorry i'll stop going on about how much the mask is um so this one's like yeah so you can use this in three different ways um you can either use it as a cleanser as like a moisturizer i think or as a like a more hydrating mask i think that's how you use it if i'm wrong then i'll stick it at the bottom but there is a little, nice little qr code at the top there in case um you just want to like work out how to use it oh it's upside down so there you go uh yeah it's it's a really like good cleanser um again like the other one i never know if it's uh bad unless it goes wrong so um but i, I love cleansers and i think as long as they don't dry your skin out um and they actually clean then um yeah it's, it's, they're nice they're nice to use i haven't got anything else in their their range so um it'd be good to i've only ever seen the seated queen cleanser so it'd be good to try other stuff okay four more items to go uh, i can i've got so there's something smelling in the bag so i think it's this um this is oh i'm not even going to try is it i don't know what the thing at the top is but this is carioca granado um bar of soap bar of soap um now this one again there was one of these in the beauty drops recently it wasn't this this particular one for me um but it was obviously this brand 
Now, cotton is my favourite smell. It smells almost like herbally or savoury. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I do have a lot of notes, so it might be interfering uh, with my senses because I'm always really good at describing things. Um, so this one alone is worth £6. I don't know if you can buy them on their own like this. I think you can only buy them in like a six pack when they've got like different... I want to say flavours, it's not flavours, smells. Um, so depending on obviously if you want to try all of them. Um, we do use soap. We prefer soap, hand soap. I think this is a hand soap. I'm not sure whether it's a body soap or not. Just as, but I don't think it really matters, does it? So um, my husband uses soap um, in the shower because um, he has quite sensitive skin. Um, and so, yeah, as long as, like I said, as long as it didn't dry you out, um, more than happy to use that anyway. But it's quite nice to have a posh soap in the bathroom, I think, especially in the guest bathroom. So, yeah, may save that for when we have guests. Um, not using it outside of that, only when we've got guests. Um, but yeah, nice thing to have. Like I said, six pounds. Six pounds is quite a lot for a bar of soap. Um, but uh, it is probably quite a nice brand and they're probably quite nice bars of soap. Like I said, I've not used the other one that I've had yet, but it is ready to go. But I might save it for best. Cool. Three items left. Three items left. So the next one is a tiny one. This is Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex Moisturiser with chia and flaxseed. And it's for normal to dry skin and it restores essential nutrients for healthy glowing skin. And it also strengthens skin's ability to retain moisture. It's a 15 mil size. Um, I've not tried this one. Um, what is, um, let's have a look at the price first. Oh my word, this is worth £14 in this size. Gosh, some really, really expensive miniatures in this. Um, uh, yeah, I cannot tell you much. Uh, to apply Once or twice daily, apply over face and neck. For daytime, always follow with a sunscreen. So yeah, um, moisturiser, so standard. I will... Uh, do you have a couple of the Paula's Choice uh, items? Not necessarily. I think dry skin. I say I don't tend to have dry skin. I have combination skin. So this will probably be more of a night moisturiser for me because it's probably going to be quite heavy and quite nourishing and, and, and hydrating, which is great. But when you go out and you try and put like makeup on and stuff like that, um, get a bit shiny. Um, so yeah, I'll probably try it at night time um, and add it into my routine it's only a little size so it won't take me too long to get through and then i'll feed back on what i think but yeah 14 pounds can only imagine you have to really like it um so then the two items left one's a full size and one's a perfume it's a nice smell for me to try and explain to you again what i think it smells like um so this one i'm um, i love this range it's the ultraviolet um lean screen mineral mattifying fragrance free sunscreen very high protection uh, 50 mils this is one of the reasons i got the bag because um these ones are so nice to have um i had a miniature of this one and absolutely loved it um and i think i've got the blue one. is this the, is this the blue one this packaging can be slightly misleading it is the one i've already got okay so i thought it was going to be a purple one but this is the one um that i have got um so yeah i love a mattifying um i find like i think i said when you put your sunscreen on over all your other things your skin you're gonna be like really slimy pilly all that kind of stuff so to have one that's mattifying um it to me if i'm having a non-makeup day it makes the difference sometimes i wear makeup after sunscreen just to try and be able to control um the shininess of my skin um so with a mattifying sunscreen it does make a lot of difference and this range is so nice i can't stress enough like i used to hate wearing sunscreen it's like i hate summer because you have to wear sunscreen you're just sticky and clammy all the time um and then obviously your face when you touch your face it just pills so for me um yeah it's it's investing in a good sunscreen that you're actually going to wear every day is so important um so yeah, glad that that's in there. The price of that one is, um, just trying to frantically remember if I told you the other one. I think I did, it was the Nusavar soap. Um, this one is, it's got to be the last one on here, £34. Now, it is expensive, but it is worth it. And something like that, you know, there's the two finger rule with sun cream. So if you put put it on two fingers and that that's enough to cover your whole face um, and neck so um yeah like maybe that'll be like a month month and a half so it is pricey but um I do believe it's worth it and if you can find it in edits like this then obviously 
stock up um, if you like it. Uh, yeah, so really happy with that one. And then the last one um, is an expensive perfume. It's Vil Wilhelm, Wilhelm, uh, Vil oh yeah, Perf Perfumery, uh, New York. And this is the Purple Fig. Now, I really love Moon Carnival um, by this brand, um, as well as, I want to say, Puny Culture, Pony Culture. I don't know how to say things. I'm so sorry. I do, do everything phonetically. Um, so when it doesn't quite work, um, it does go a bit wrong. So this one is worth £35 for 10 mils. So let me see. Let's give it a sniff test. Oh, I see it's brand new. No one's squared it yet, so you can't tell. My arm smells smells of that. That's great. Okay, that side's all right. All right, let's give it a go. You're nice and gentle. Oh, nice, nice. Get a waft, get a waft. Oh. Okay, that one's not for me. Um, no. I, I can't tell why. Like I said, I've got a slight blocked nose, but I just know that that's... If I say it's quite... Um, herbally. I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit like the soap. It's a bit kind of, yeah, not for me. Um, it's not awful. It's just, I think it's the kind of cells that sense that people like and they don't like. Um, it's just a shame because I, I really do like a lot of their, their fumes, but do you know, I might try it on my husband. He might get away with that. So, um, yeah, but again, it's such a nice brand to have and to try in this kind of size because yes it's expensive but um if you'd had to like buy that sample yourself in order to find out whether you liked it or not that's really expensive so in fact it comes in edit like this you can try it and if you don't like it pass it on gift it all that kind of stuff um so i'm really happy maybe that might grow on me it might grow on me i'll see i'll see i'll give it a week right um so yeah that's the last item in here so as you can see, there's there's so much. There is so much um, that that Liberty kind of give you in their edits. And like I said, a lot of them are in the beauty drops, yes. And they're obviously probably surplus items, but they're good items and they're good things that you can reuse and retry. Obviously, if you don't like them, then that's a bit different. But I'm more than happy to have them um, and to get through them or gift them because you know that's the other thing is if you really like something but you've got a few products to get through but you know it's really nice then you know pass it on to people and, and see if they like it as well um but yeah so i hope you've enjoyed <laughs> i know it's been very rambly um very waffly um and um kind of a bit hit and miss in terms of remembering things but um yeah i was wanted to share with you and i know i'm a bit late getting this video out as well um but hopefully it gives you an idea of what kind of liberty of london the kind of products they do um and like how much that you get in their they give purchases i have the harrods one as well which i will get out i promise um that that one is still live at the moment um and with that one you have to spend 250 pounds i had a splurgy month i really did um but the samples in that one are much smaller and way more pricey in terms of like the individual samples like around like 50 pounds each for like three mils or something crazy so but with liberty what i like is that there's a mixture there's there are some really expensive products that you'd never buy normally um but then they've also got regular products where you know you can try it or it's more be a full size and it doesn't break the bank if they are products you like so and you get amazing amazing bags with it so yeah that's it i'll stop waffling um thank you so much again for watching um if you have enjoyed please feel free to like and subscribe um and yeah uh, i look forward to seeing you on the next one. Oh, and by the way if you have used any of these products and you know how they work or i haven't like explained them properly or anything like that please do let me know because i am here i, I want to know as much as i can i want to absorb other people's knowledge so yeah thank you so much again take care have a nice day thanks bye